Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Meredith, and these are my teammates, Susanna, Jen, and Elliot. And today we will be introducing our app, Sandcastle. As developers, we've utilized many tools for working with the front end, such as CodePen and JS Fiddle, um, and tools for the back end, such as Postman and Postico. We hadn't yet found anything that allowed us to integrate the two and really work with an entire app. Um, switching back and forth between all these technologies and tools was disruptive to our workflow and a little bit dizzying, so we wanted one place where we could do everything. And thus, we created Sandcastle. It's an in-browser playground where developers can write and work with an entire application, interact with their models, and test out their routes. Each text editor in Sandcastle is dedicated to a different layer of a full application's code base. Um, furthermore, users can save and edit multiple projects and quickly and easily share them with fellow developers. And now Susanna is going to walk you through how a developer might use Sandcastle with a real example. Here we are logged into Elmer Fudd's account, where he's working on his Hunting Bugs Bunny website. He's making changes to his HTML, CSS, and JavaScript editors, and can view these front-end changes with just the click of a button. We are using Firebase, a software development platform, to store five Firepads, which are collaborative code editors. Each change that he makes in these editors is automatically saved for him. Another cool feature we've added is the ability to save and require in NPM modules. What makes Sandcastle different from other applications is the ability to run full app. So when Elmer hits this button, we're using Docker to run a container for him. This provides a sandbox environment for him to run his backend code. In each container that he has, we are using a Postgres database and an Express server. Now that the container has finished building, Elmer can navigate to the run full app view and view his entire website. Next, Elliot will tell you more about the server and database integration. Thanks, Susanna. From the server view, Elmer can make RESTful get, post, put, and delete request. He simply types in the appropriate route and, if need be, the request body, and the response appears below his query. This way, he can test out routes without having to type anything in his URL bar. Here, Elmer is making a post request to add a marker to his map for a carrot farm in Japan. After receiving the response, he can navigate over to his full app view, and he'll see that the marker was added to the map. Furthermore, if he navigates over to the database view, he'll see that the database was updated as expected. Now he can visualize all his data without relying on an external application such as Postico. Next, Jin will talk to you about the technologies we used and some of the challenges we encountered. Thanks, Elliot. We used a variety of technologies to build Sandcastle, which you can see here. Let's look at how some of these technologies are interacting with each other. On the front end, we're using React, Redux, Firebase, and Firepad to save users' code in real time. On the back end, we're using Postgres to store users' projects. We're also using Docker to run users' apps in containers. Each container has its own server and database. Now I'll go over some of our main challenges. Due to the design of Firebase and Firepad, one challenge was accessing users' code on five unique Firepads at the same time. As a solution, we ended up initializing all of our Firepads on the main page and toggling between tabs for different editor views. Creating containers for users was also a major challenge because our application code had to mimic both regular terminal commands and Docker terminal commands. To deal with the asynchronicity of running Docker, we ended up promisifying functions found in Node's built-in child process module. Thanks so much for your time. We really enjoyed building Sandcastle. And you can check out, out our app here at www.sandcastle.world, where you can start building your own Sandcastle today. <laughs>